Today brings a series of challenges and conflicts that test your patience and resilience. You may encounter criticism from familiar faces, feel excluded or misunderstood by your usual social circles, and face resistance from authority figures or family members. Additionally, you may experience inner turmoil regarding your beliefs, guilt over past actions, and emotional strain within your familial relationships. Amidst these trials, it's essential to stay grounded and prioritize problem-solving over confrontation. Take time to reflect on your decisions, communicate openly with others, and maintain a level head in the face of adversity. Remember that challenges are temporary, and by staying true to yourself and seeking understanding, you can navigate through today's obstacles with grace and resilience. Once words are spoken, they stick. You might find yourself bumping heads with someone who's usually on your side, but today they're a bit more critical or impatient. This might stir up some mixed up, not so nice feelings, which is totally okay, but try not to shoot those feelings right back at them. That'd just make things worse and stop us from fixing stuff. If it seems like they're not into finding a way to sort things out, it's okay to move on. Let's focus on solving problems instead of stirring up more trouble. Today, you might feel shaken by what others do. Maybe a gang you usually hang with makes plans without you, or you get hit with some unexpected criticism. It's a real downer, but don't go all defensive and stubborn. Instead, think about what they said. Were they really trying to help, even if it felt harsh? Or maybe it's a sign this group isn't your fit. Today, you might find authority figures giving you a hard time. Even if you're feeling all independent and sure of yourself, they might doubt you're up to the goals you've set. They might even try to hold you back, acting all controlling. It could be a boss, parents who don't get your dreams, or someone else in charge causing a ruckus. But hey, don't let them steer you off course. Stick to what your heart tells you to do. Today, Confusion might be your biggest rival. You might find yourself tripping over little things, like forgetting something important or messing up communication so bad that you create problems for yourself. If you're planning any long distance trips or diving into higher education stuff, be ready for extra hurdles. To dodge any unnecessary mess ups or delays, take a sec to go over your to-do list. The more on the ball and organized you are beforehand, the smoother things will go. Today, you might feel all alone. Your usual squad might not be around to hang out, or you could end up stuck with some unfriendly strangers. It's a real bummer and super stressful, especially when you're trying hard to fit in but nothing seems to click. But hey, it's not forever. If things just don't go the way you want it, remember, there are plenty more pals to meet along the way. Today, you might face some public drama. It could be a power struggle at work, with big shots trying to boss you around. This tension can affect you and your coworkers on the same level as you. Or maybe it's not work-related at all. It could be peers trying to throw their weight around, demanding stuff from you like they own you. But guess what? You're strong, and you don't have to let them push you around. Hold your ground. Today, you might clash with the older folks' beliefs. Maybe there are traditions or ideas that you grew up with or that your family or spiritual leaders expect from you, but you're feeling like they don't fit you anymore. It's tough to go against the flow, but it's crucial to walk your own path instead of just following along. Trust what you feel deep down in your heart. Today, guilt might sneak up on you, leaving you with hurt feelings. Whether it's your own guilt or someone else making you feel guilty, it's crucial to figure out where it's coming from. Do you really need to apologize or are you being made to feel bad for no good reason? Be real with yourself. Sure, sometimes saying sorry is the right move, but watch out for guilt trips aimed to manipulate you. Take a moment to see what's really going on. Today, your family might stir up some emotional turmoil. Maybe they just don't get you, whether it's your hobbies, job, or the friends you hang out with. 
But here's the thing. Just because you vibe with different people doesn't mean you don't vibe with your fam. You can love them and still do your own thing. Know this, in life, it's crucial to figure out who's got your back. And if someone's on your team, they're worth holding on to, no matter what. Today, you might find yourself butting heads with relatives close to your age, especially siblings. They might not get why you do what you do, leading to them giving you the side eye or scratching their heads over your actions and words. It can feel like you're tiptoeing around all the time. But hey, when tensions rise, it might be time to sit down and chat it out. If you don't have siblings, similar conflicts could pop up with cousins or close pals. Give everyone some space to cool down, then aim for a chill talk where everyone can share their thoughts and feelings. Today, you might feel the urge to take some risky moves that could stress you and those around you. Sure, some chances might look shiny at first glance, but it's vital not to rush into anything without doing your homework. Think about what's on the line. Try to keep a clear head and make smart choices even if impatience is knocking at your door. When things get intense, take a deep breath, count to 10, and remember, you don't have to decide right this second. Today, you might feel like your emotions aren't getting the respect they deserve. It stings, especially if someone you care about brushes off your feelings. But hey, they might be reacting from their own emotions. If they were calmer, they might be able to explain things better. But right now, the stress of the moment might have both of you butting heads. It's tough, but try to set this aside for now. When you're both feeling clearer, that's the time to hash it out. The Father says today, be of good courage, for the works of darkness will not swallow you up no matter what things may look like at the moment. The enemy spied a break in your defenses, and you have felt the sting of it. But do not despair, for I am bringing a swift resolution. I am never late, and I never abandon my children. Do not let thoughts of being forsaken occupy your heart. I am a God of blessing, abundance, and delight in providing for you from my storehouses in heaven. Today, watch and see as I extend a blessing specifically out of my throne room. It is positioned to reach you right where you are. As you receive this blessing, remember that I am a God of restoration. Not only am I restoring you in this moment of need, but I am also restoring relationships, dreams, and opportunities that may have seemed lost. Just as I am extending a blessing to you, I am also extending a hand to guide you through this challenging time. Know that I am a God of justice. I see the inequities that have been done to you, and I will bring about rectitude for these transgressions against you in due time. Rest assured that I am working behind the scenes to make things right and bring about a fair resolution to the wrongs that have been done. Lastly, remember that I am a God of redemption. Those who don't see you the way I do, through the lens of Calvary's forgiveness, think you deserve to suffer. That is not my heart toward you. This isn't about you getting what you deserve because of past indiscretions or failures. No matter your mistakes or struggles, I am here to offer you forgiveness and a fresh start. I am ever the God of the second chance. Allow my love and grace to wash over you, and know that I am always ready to walk alongside you on your journey of growth and transformation. As you receive the blessing that I am extending to you today, remember that I am a God of provision, restoration, justice, and redemption. Trust in my faithfulness and know that I am always working for your good. Embrace the blessing that I am offering you today and watch as I work miracles in your life. Get it embedded down deep in your heart that change isn't harmful. Change is beneficial. I am the God who never changes. Yet, I require you as my child to be willing to constantly shift, change, and adapt to my unfolding wisdom as I make it available to you. Yes, change has begun in your life. Do not be afraid. For change is an instrument I use to mold you into a more perfect reflection of myself. Do not cling to the comforts and treasures of the past, or you risk missing the new things I have in store for you. I can take even the most broken pieces and create beauty from them, but you must be willing to move forward with me. Change can be a difficult and scary process, but it is necessary for growth and development. 
It is important to embrace change and trust in my plan for your life. Just as a potter molds clay into a beautiful vessel, I am constantly shaping and molding you into the image of my son. Stand ready, for this transformation will require you to let go of old habits, relationships, and previous ways of thinking that no longer serve you or my purposes. It may be uncomfortable at times, but the end result will be worth it. The changes I bring will manifest new opportunities and blessings you never could have imagined. When you are open to the possibility of change, you open yourself up to a world of endless possibilities. I am always working behind the scenes, orchestrating events and circumstances in your life for your ultimate good. By surrendering to my will and trusting in my timing, you can navigate through the uncertainties of change with peace and confidence. Therefore, purpose in your heart and resolve in your mind, no matter what, to embrace change as a necessary part of your growth and transformation. Trust in my plan for your life, knowing that I ever have your best interests at heart. Allow me to mold you into the person I created you to be, and watch as the beauty and purpose of your life unfold before your eyes. Remember, change is not the end, but a new beginning. With many ongoing new beginnings every morning you set your feet on the floor, changes that are filled with endless possibilities, answered prayer, and major miracles according to your needs. Do not let the words of those who prophesy doom and gloom cause your resolve to waver. They speak hastily about matters they neither fully understand nor consider in the light of my finished work at the cross. I spoke through my prophet Joel of both darkness and morning light in the same season. The darkness is reserved for my adversaries, yet there will be a brilliant dawn for you. Arise and shine, for my glory has come upon you, and this day illuminates those spheres of influence where I am placing you. This world will be shaken, yet I will raise my people to stand firm in unshakable dominion. Will you partner with me in establishing my kingdom of love, righteousness, and life? As you navigate through tumultuous times, it is important to remember the power of partnership with me through faith in establishing my kingdom on earth. This partnership calls upon you to stand firm in the face of adversity, trusting in my promises and steadfast love. It is a call to walk in the light of my glory, allowing my presence to shine through you and impact the world around you. It is ever crucial in this season to discern the voices that speak into your life and be wary of those who only prophesy doom and gloom. While it is important to identify the dark forces at work in the world, you must also hold on to the hope and assurance found in my word. My promises of a brilliant dawn and unshakable dominion remind you that I am in control of your situation and will ultimately triumph over all evil. In partnering with me, you are called to be agents of love, righteousness, and life in a world that desperately needs healing and restoration. This means actively engaging with those around you in my name, showing compassion and mercy, and standing up for justice and righteousness. It is a daunting task, but one that is made possible through alignment with my spirit and reliance on my strength. So, will you heed the call to partner with me, says God, in establishing my kingdom on earth? Will you rise up with courage and faith, knowing that my glory will illuminate the darkness and bring about a new dawn of hope and redemption? The choice is yours, but the opportunity to be a part of something greater than yourself is a privilege not to be taken lightly. Choose to embrace this calling with boldness and determination, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. The lightness in your heart and the song of praise on your lips is a battle cry striking fear into the kingdom of darkness. Your enemy knows that the joy I have placed within you will force his hand. Your rejoicing today declares his defeat. Open your mouth with thanksgiving and shout in jubil and celebration. Laugh defiantly, knowing I have secured your victory and given you every weapon necessary to overcome. In me, you found your safe place, your high fortress. Rest in the assured protection of my presence. Let your joy be a beacon of hope to those around you who are hurting and in need of encouragement. Your ability to find joy in the midst of trials can be a powerful testimony of my faithfulness and love. By choosing to praise and worship me, you are declaring that I am bigger than any situation or struggle you may face. 
Your joy can be contagious, spreading hope and light to those who are lost in darkness. Furthermore, your joy and praise are a primary form of spiritual warfare, weakening the enemy's grip on your life and those around you. The enemy thrives on fear and discouragement, but when you praise me, you declare that my power is greater than any force of evil. Your song of praise is a declaration of faith in my ability to overcome all obstacles and bring victory in every situation. In times of uncertainty and fear, it can be easy to focus on the negative and allow worry to consume your thoughts. But when you praise me, you shift your focus from your circumstances to my promises. Your joy is a reminder that I am in control and that my plans for you are good. By lifting up your voice in praise, you are affirming your trust in me and my ability to work all things together for your good. So let your heart be light and your lips be filled with songs of praise. Let your joy be a weapon of warfare against the enemy and a source of hope and encouragement to those around you. You will find true rest and protection in my presence, knowing that I have secured your victory and given you everything you need to overcome. Listen closely. I am making all things new in your life. It's time to shed the heaviness that's weighed you down. Put on your dancing shoes, the ones you've kept tucked away out of disuse. Consider this a divine invitation to rediscover joy. Dust off any instrument you may have neglected, for there will be music in your heart again. Open yourself to this fresh wave of gladness, a wellspring I've prepared especially for you. The tears you've shed will no longer define your days. The long nights spent waiting, yearning for answers that seemed elusive, are over. Don't dwell on that period of unanswered prayers. My timing is perfect, even when it feels like silence. My angels surround you. They are not distant figures, but present wall to wall and floor to ceiling in your life. They are here to usher in this newness, to be your constant companions on this path forward. Perhaps a question lingers. Do you doubt my love for you? Look to the cross. There, on that rugged instrument of sacrifice, see the ultimate expression of my unwavering devotion. Then, turn your gaze to the throne, a symbol of my power and majesty. Finally, look within your own heart and life. See the evidence of my hand in all you've overcome, the blessings you've received, even in the midst of hardship. Pay close attention to how this day unfolds. Notice the subtle nudges, the unexpected opportunities. When you lay your head down tonight, reflect on the events that transpired. Remember, I am faithful. Trust that I do all things well and that this new season I bring will be a testament to my love for you. You are not alone. No, never alone. Let your thoughts find solace in my presence and allow my spirit to guide your heart. More are they with you than against you in the situation. I have dispatched angels to guard and direct your steps. This day holds significance. It's a God day, and I will be intricately involved in your affairs. Don't be surprised by unexpected encounters or divinely orchestrated connections. These are opportunities one present for your growth. Trust that your path is not haphazard. Every step you take aligns with the grand plan I have crafted for your life. My hand guides your journey and my care for you is meticulous and personal. Embrace the joy of knowing I am actively working on your behalf. Move forward with confidence, for I am with you, carrying you towards a place of blessing. The Father says today timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love, because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, Perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? 
you are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following. When they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day, I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me, and seek me, and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out, you will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you. And you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life, from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts, stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself. I am safe, I am secure, in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost. But beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me, protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who grope to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, 
but I've blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The father says time for you to soar, time for you to fly, like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them. Forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and designs. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness leave your assigned angel standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer.